In this video, you are going to learn how to create a Galaxy button inspired by the Genius.Design website in Framer without writing a single line of code. My name is Nandi, this is Framer University, and let's get started. So here we are in Framer and I'm going to get started as soon as possible because I memorized all the hex, color values and I don't want to forget them. So let's get right into this video. Uh, I'm going to start by hitting T on my keyboard and then clicking on the canvas and then writing Galaxy button. So this will be our text. This is going to be a white colored text and the size will be 20 pixels and it's gonna be Satoshi font. So I'm gonna change it to Satoshi and it's gonna be bold. The color will be a linear gradient, which will go from white to white, but this value will be 70% here on the bottom. So yeah, this is our text. Now we can actually wrap this text within a stack by pressing Option, Command and Enter on our keyboard. Then I'm going to rename this to button and I'll make sure that the width and the height is fit. And then I'll set 22 padding on top and on the bottom and 44 on the sides. Then we're going to have 12 radius and then the fill color will be 1D, 1D, 20. I didn't forget the color code. So now we can add a border which will be 47, 47, 49. So now we have this button, it looks really great, but we need to add one more layer, which will be a frame. So I'm going to just draw it here and then command and X, then command and V here within the button. And then I'm going to set it to absolute and then make sure to press option H and option V. This way we can center it. I'll activate all those pins here and then the width will be 940 and 350 height let's center it again so i'm going to select it option h and option v so now we have this huge frame here this will be actually the galaxy so i'm going to call this bg galaxy this is what we're going to see when we hover the button so instead of the white fill color we're going to show an image so I'm just going to drag and drop this galaxy image here. So now, as you can see, we have the galaxy image, uh, but as you can see, it is above the text. So in order to move it behind the text, I'm going to remove the Z index property and also move it to the top. So now, as you can see, it is nicely behind the text. So now actually we can uh, turn this button into a component. So I'm going to select it and then hit option command and K on my keyboard and then hit enter. So this will be the component and here we can add a hover state for the button. So here on the primary variant, we're going to make a couple of changes and we're going to basically remove this BG Galaxy by just setting the opacity to zero. And then I'm going to also add a shadow, which will be box shadow. The Y value will be zero. The blur will be 20. The spread will be minus three. And the color will be 516AA4. I can't believe that I remember that. Okay, so then we're going to set the opacity to zero because we're not going to show this just yet, only on the hover state. So on the hover state, we're going to create it by just clicking here, hover. On the hover state, we are showing the BG Galaxy by setting the opacity to one and also showing the shadow by setting it to around 80%, but you can experiment with different values. And then the border color will also change to 999AA3. So now if we take a look, you can see that as I hover this button, it nicely goes into the hover state. But as I hover over this and I move my cursor, the galaxy in the background is not really moving as I hover over it. So in order for this to work, 
we're gonna need to use a code override. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click BG Galaxy and on the right panel, we're gonna go to code override and create a new override, which gonna be, I don't know, Galaxy override and then hit create. And here will be some generated code. We can remove this. And then we're going to go to framer.university because it has this galaxy button component resource. And if you scroll down here, you can find the code override. You can just copy it from here, then go back to the framer project, paste it in within the galaxy override. And then if we go back here, you can actually apply it right here, galaxy override with cursor follow. And now if we take a look at this, as you can see, as I hover over this image, nothing really happens. The override is not working. Well, that's because we have to set the buttons tag to button. So I go to accessibility tag and I will set it to button. So now if we take a look at this, as you can see, as I hover over this button, the galaxy background is nicely moving as I am hovering over this button and I'm moving my cursor. So it works perfectly. And also the border color is changing and the drop shadow is displaying nicely. So yeah, everything works perfectly. So yeah, that's it for this video. Make sure to go to framer.university to find more free resources for Framer, uh, because I'm pretty sure that those gonna be helping you a lot on your Framer journey. So make sure to like this video and subscribe for more, and I'm gonna see you in the next one.